Phosphorus is an essential nutrient for living organisms. It's a building block of nucleic acids like DNA and of phospholipids that form our cell membranes. It's also essential for plant growth. Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and the Phosphorus Cycle. In the natural world, phosphorus is never encountered in its pure form, but only as phosphates, which consist of a phosphorus atom bonded to four oxygen atoms. Phosphate compounds are found in sedimentary rocks, and as the rocks weather and wear down over long time periods, the phosphorus they contain slowly leaches into the surface water and soils. Volcanic ash and fertilizer can also be significant phosphate sources. Phosphate compounds in the soil can be taken up by plants and from there transferred to animals that eat the plants. When plants and animals excrete waste or die, phosphates may be taken up by detrovores, an example is a worm, or returned to the soil. Phosphorus containing compounds may also be carried in surface runoff to rivers, lakes, and oceans where they are taken up by aquatic organisms like phytoplankton. When phosphorus containing compounds from the bodies or waste of marine organisms sink to the floor of the ocean, they form new sedimentary layers. Over long periods of time, phosphorus containing sedimentary rock may be moved from the ocean to the land and then the cycle repeats. However, this process is very slow. Phosphorus can be a limiting factor for an ecosystem. Most fertilizers contain phosphorus, which may be carried to aquatic ecosystems in surface runoff. Fertilizer carried in runoff may cause excessive growth of algae or microbes that were previously limited by the phosphorus. This phenomena is called euthification. So why is euthification harmful? When all the excess algae die and are decomposed by microbes, large amounts of oxygen are used up as their bodies are broken down. This increase in oxygen usage can sharply lower dissolved oxygen levels in the water and may lead to death of aquatic organisms. Regions of lakes and oceans that are depleted of oxygen due to a nutrient influx are called dead zones. Fertilizer runoff from the Mississippi River Basin created a dead zone of over 8,000 square miles off the coast of Mexico. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.